This white van came towards me, did a U-turn, jumped the pavement, and crashed into the, broke in the two front doors of the church. He had gotten inside the narthex, put 10 gallons of gasoline on the floor, set it on fire, and came out. And I was face to face with him like this. And he jumped into his car and off he sped. I called 911 and thank God they rounded him up within 20 minutes. I knew there would be a lot of police and you, you know a lot of it but when I arrived then I found out that the FBI had got involved in the situation so it was a crime scene. I'm not trying to be funny I didn't have any thoughts I was just aware of what was happening in front of me that we had been attacked, bombed, Nobody at all was hurt, thank God. Nobody. My parishioners, for the most part, are mature people like myself. And uh, so, oh my God, the church is on fire. And who could have done this? Evil never attacks evil. You know, so the church is something very good. So I take the attack on the church as a sign that we're doing the right thing here. At the moment, we're cleaning up. We have some extraordinary artwork. Most of the Bible is on the Old and New Testament, somewhere or other is on the walls of the church. A lot of those got severely damaged, and so we're going to replace all the artwork. We had relics on display on the walls, and um, ironically, it was one of the few things that didn't burn. The relics are still here of St. Therese, and Blessed Elizabeth of the Trinity, and John of the Cross. Well, the good Lord always works miracles. Certain things in life show us again that we're not in charge, the Lord is in charge, and these are the moments where we have to realize there's a greater power than we are. You know, as lovely as this church is, it's a building, it can be replaced. The whole message of the gospel is redemption, forgiveness. If we don't have forgiveness in our hearts, then what are we filling our hearts with today? And it's very important, if we're called to be Christ-like, then we must be forgiving. If you're afraid of, of the attack, um, I don't know, our, our, um, our view of history is a bit different from other people. We, we kind of say, uh, Christ has died, Christ has risen, and then Christ will come again. We're living between is risen and the will come again. At the moment, all of us are apprehensive about many things. But I, I think, you know, it's like, it's like the disciples in the boat, in the middle of a storm. You know, they wake Jesus up and say, aren't you concerned about our safety? What shall we do? And Jesus' response is, don't you have faith? I'd like you to say the Fatima prayer, the one that says, oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us in the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Because God wants everybody to be saved. Do we hear God? Are we listening? And the question today is, where is the good news? The good news is in the gospel. The good news is Jesus Christ. And unless we hear the good news, then we are lost.